On this day, February 26th, in 1917, the first jazz recording was created. The original Dixieland Jazz Band, that's right, S's, not Z's, had come to New York from Chicago in January 1917. A Dixieland, or New Orleans-style band, they had come to play an engagement at Risenweber's Cafe on Columbus Circle. While they were in the city, they auditioned with a few record companies. They were ultimately asked to record for Victor Talking Machine Company. They went into the studio on February 26th and recorded Livery Stable Blues and Dixieland Jazz Band One Step. The songs were released in May of 1917. This was the first known jazz recording session, and the songs were initially released as a novelty. The songs were a surprise hit, exposing a new swath of Americans to jazz for the first time. The band returned to the studio in May of the same year to record two more songs, Darktown Strutter's Ball and Back Home Again in Indiana. The band had continued successes and influenced such notables as Jimmy Durante and W.C. Handy. Sometime in the late 1920s, the band broke up and the members went their separate ways, reuniting in 1936. The band continued in various forms with the son of one of the earliest members, Nick LaRocca, continuing to use the name. As you probably realize, we use portions of the two songs from that first session in the background of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe.